Hey everyone, it has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it pretty much has been. Listen, I'm not gonna mince words. Um, I've not recorded in a long time. Primarily due to the holidays slash vacations, Christmas break. I'm saying this because people rightfully diss me when I pretty much um, say everything in the American way but end up saying holiday um, yeah so we had the Christmas break um, we, we were just doing family stuff as much as you can this year uh, so honestly I didn't have that much time to record this game and all that but it's post holidays now oh fuck seriously are you guy? I got Artorius, and it's a fast, slow Artorius too. Oh, this is gonna mess up everything. This is gonna mess up everything because oh, fuck no! What the hell was that hitbox? Shit. At least I get to finish my point. But it's actually a coherent word. His name, Wither, instead of like some weird shit. I shouldn't have put my bonfire up there. It annoys me that I'm forced to lose health. Oh, they are forced to lose health before this boss anyways because of the... Uh, just the way it is. The drop into the arena. So yeah, it was Christmas. I was just doing family stuff and... Oh, he has a lot of HP. Oh, Fucking hell. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I mean, seriously? God damn. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, you know what? I might have. Still does the Artorias stuff. Was he not able to buff? Oh, he is buffed, isn't he? He just didn't explode. God, that's so... You can't actually get out of it. Yeah, this is quite something. I, I, I can't... I like actually can't dodge him. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Um, you can't escape that because of the speed. God, this is annoying. This fast slow thing is so fucking annoying. Because... That's like almost impossible. Please be a hundred ninety. Fuck. Well, ninety is better than nothing. Um. Let's go for it. Wait, why am I naked again? Why do I have so little armor on? I don't remember. Maybe I'm just a naked ass moron. Yes, okay. So we're gonna try a change of tactics. And block. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Okay, that was normal speed. It's very abnormal speed. Oh God. And the funny is, it almost seems like he has like art, legit Artorias, 
level defense this is so okay looks like it is possible to escape that I was mistaken what it's not possible to you have got to be shitting me this game is shitting me yeah how did I not stun him oh fucking hell this is good this is a death this is legit this is um I'm just thinking of it if it's there is any point in doing the rest of this because there is a 0% chance that I'm going to be able to beat him. This is like being stuck against Haunt <clears throat> with nothing on your Isaac run. Doesn't help that I took damage like an idiot. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it one more try, but my hopes are low, to be honest with you. Because this is... Oh, you've got to be... Okay. At least that's not rigged. It doesn't, like, teleport to your location. Or something. It's, like, impossible to stun him. Weirdly. Oh, no. You don't know how difficult this is. Like, maybe... Um, watching this, it doesn't seem... Oh, it is possible. You just gotta use your R2. Maybe watching this, it doesn't come across how incredibly, like, um, disorienting, there's no other way to say it, it is when you are used to a boss, you fight a boss almost completely out of muscle memory, which is what you do in Souls. It's all muscle memory. And they change the timing up on you. It's like Blue Smelter, but where the fuck is he? Okay. It's like Blue Smelter versus Red Smelter, but like 30 times worse. I wonder if there's even a point. Whatever. Let's get some damage in there. Fuck that has a big AoE. Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, and I was just about to say I was doing well. Yeah, the thing is, like, even if... Even if I do this, I, I mean, I managed to kill him. There's... I'm not going to be able to make much progress. Damn. Well, that was a disappointing run. And I was kind of happy we started off in the let's get a knight let's get a good shield um, we started off in the catacombs which I think is a decent starting area but hey get the havel ring gotta keep talking to her accidentally alright well let me go ahead and see what else we can come up with. Maybe I'll get, I'll like not have to deal with one of these fuckers. <laughs> oh shit. Immediately assaulted by every imaginable creature. Is there a gargoyle there too? Yeah, there is. How fucked would it be if the boss was just like here? <laughs> that would be pretty good. It's not gonna happen like that. Oh god, fuck, he's stuck, isn't he? Oh shit, nice. I'll take that. I will take that. Thank you, thank you. 
I'll take free HP. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan. I've said this at the start, right? This fast slow thing, I'm honestly not the biggest fan of. But I guess it would be too easy if every enemy functioned just like their regular counterpart. I don't know, would it? I honestly don't know. But you know, like to the previous attempt, as frustrating as that was, it's the nature of these types of games, uh, roguelikes. Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and accept that you have a bad run. Just tends to happen. Damn, the enemies are an absolute clusterfuck in this level. Sometimes they're a little bit more, like, coherent thematically to the area. But here we have, like, absolutely everything. We have a lot of HP. And you're biting me and I'm not even attempting to block it or dodge it. Oh man, the hurt box on that is like really difficult to determine. Yes, please do that. <clears throat> this is 100% gonna be not worth it. Whatever this thing drops versus the amount of time I'm spending on it. Five hundred souls. And that's it. <clears throat> and apparently it gave me a scratchy throat. I was pretty much correct. That was not worth it in the in any sense of the word, really. I wonder if there's gonna there's probably gonna be nothing here. And we'll have to see if the boss Holy Sigil required. Alright, fam. I can produce a holy sigil. Imagine if this thing drops it. Unlikely, unlikely I know, but hey, you can hope, can't you? <laughs> wank snicked. <laughs> did they just say wank? And then just so wank did it. Wark, okay, well, never mind. Can that be considered Freudian? I don't know, probably not. We need that holy sigil though. <gasps> Kathleen Stone Axe, 32. Uh oh. That looks to be pretty good. It looks like this is gonna be a strength build as well. All the good weapons I've gotten have been strength oriented at least. And it's good that I picked the knight because it even fits thematically. Although your stats do not change, do they? Nah, they don't. It's always 12 12. So basically, all we gotta do now is survive until we can use this thing. And then it will be, this run will be cash money, or it should be. The last run where I had this weapon was... Inc oh shit. Okay. It's a cool animation. 
always was. Just like Ohio, you know, it always was. Giant key required. Oh man. <clears throat> One of these holy sigil giant key. We still keep the Lord Vessel though, which I did assume kind of, oh fuck, I'm looking at my watch because my phone is charging so I can't keep time, but we're still good, we're still good. That was disappointing, that Artorius run. You gotta like get him later down the line because it, it probably would be easy with like a very strong weapon. As all these bosses tend to be. Sorry, Mushroom. The game is sure good at giving you random ass shit you're never gonna use. I'm never gonna use that. Four black fire bombs. Wait, it's actually it's a fairly good item. You know, always the question is which way do you explore? Heavy bolt. Like I have <laughs> that thing. I almost have some like sense that they would put something down there, but I don't know. They'd put something down there, for example, a holy sigil or a giant key. Is it even worth? It's probably not worth it, is it? Unless he drops the holy sigil or giant's key. You never know with these games. Could be the most inconspicuous enemy. Neither a holy sigil or a giant key came out of that. It's kind of disappointing. That guy could drop either of those things though. It's an intimidating enough enemy. Oh, and he is my favorite. I wish I could face through the stone walls. The stoner walls. Oh, fucking hell. God, that is the world, world's slowest wrath of God. It's like in Demon Souls. That's where the animation is very slow for that spell. Let's see. I got two Vork Snicked items at this point. And it's not gonna be heavy, but oh shit! No, they're actually not that heavy. It's a little bit. I mean, it clashes just a tiny bit with the rest of my set, but hey, this is a whoa! What is that? Is that the abyss? Oh, I'm so gonna try this. Like, listen, this is area one. There are no... Oh, fuck. Smaur of... I knew it was gonna be a boss. I had a feeling. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. This was unplanned. But 
should be doable. His normal speed, which I appreciate. And he has the normal attack pattern. I'm going to heal. There's no like fuckery with the speed. Yeah. There is fuckery with the distance, which is like, that's what I hate about this arena. It's like impossible to tell. That's why the four kings are so difficult with their stupid uh, magic attacks, because it's impossible to, do to judge distance properly in this area. Okay, that hit. What the hell? He's buffed. He's a buff boy. I don't know, as long as like fucking Ornstein doesn't spawn halfway through, we should be okay here. I'm gonna safety heal. No reason not to. I have plenty of heals. This better give me some good shit, let me tell you. Spending mad time on this. Yes, please go for that attack. I'm gonna eat it, yeah. Safety heal. No rush, you know. No need to panic. It's all good. Please tell me this is not like a boss rush. Okay. I just thought, what if it's a boss rush? Okay, so previously, hello, Skelly. When I saw the abyss there, um, I could have gone into it in that previous run. It probably wouldn't have mattered too much. We got Shell of Dark Mora. I mean, it generally, like, it has, like, good overall stats. Not 100% on the physical, but whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think the souls are more worth it. Prion Vember <laughs> Buckler. Listen. Is there a Dragon? There is a Dragon. Oh god, this is gonna be tiring. And Pinwheels. Okay, nice of you to give us a sound cue. Yeah, who the fuck needs those, right? I hate sound key. Thank you. I was just about to say, can I get you into the fire? What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, it's a gargoyle. I swear. It looked like the wing was its head. And I was like, I've never seen that enemy. They couldn't have made a new enemy for this game, could they? They could have assembled like some Frankenstein monster. 
You know, if I was smart, I would plop my bonfire down here somewhere. I think I'm going to be smart. That's what I'm going to do. This is a gigantic area. The question is, do we go up to where Quelag is? Or do we just simply have to find one of the keys? Could be either or. Or it could be that they straight up just give you an out here. Man, would I appreciate that. <laughs> God, that thing looks so weird. When it attacks. It's weird seeing this enemy out of its like environment. It looks very out of place. As do most of these enemies. What's gonna happen? Hey, easy, easy, easy. No boss, no problems. Technically, we did fight a boss, didn't we? All right, on that parry show. Whoa! Okay. I got you, game. I got you. No need to no need to say anything. I know how it is sometimes. Alright, I need to like park my ass here somewhere. Um Maybe this is good. Is this a parking spot? I think this is a good parking spot. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly start wrapping up this episode as we play ourselves out here. Um I am going to get a couple of these. So we don't need to rush it. No need. No need to rush. We can get the moats. Hold on a second. I can get one more. Let's get more endurance. More endurance never hurt. Yeah, I'll use these and we are going to basically level up and explore the Undead Parish. So, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Binding of Lordran. If you did, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. As you always do, turn on post notifications, and see you next time. Peace out and goodbye.